I don't know what your thoughts are, but it sure is hard to beat a good quality flashlight. Stay tuned for an in-depth review of the Ode Pro KL52+. Plus. The nice people at Ode Pro reached out to me to see if I would do a review of their new weapon light, the KL52+. Plus. When I took it out of the original shipping box, I noticed this nice quality hard plastic that it was delivered in, this hard plastic case. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look here, do a quick unboxing, see what all is delivered whenever you purchase the KL52+. Plus. So as you can see here on the case, it does come with uh, four different bright LED modules. It comes with the red, the green, the IR850, as well as the white. Now let's take a look and see what comes inside of the case. As you can hear there, it has some nice solid plastic uh, clips to keep the case or the lid closed. And here you'll see how everything is laid out within the case. It comes with a nice protective case for the two 18650 batteries that it comes with, 3000 milliamp. Right here is your uh, tail cap for your pressure switch. You would screw this on to the end of the weapon light itself. And then this here just mounts along your rail on your rifle of whatever you're using or your stock. One of the things that I do like about this uh, kit that comes with the light are the capsules that the uh, LED modules come in. This nice little clear case and then it's labeled on the top. Just screw the lid off and they set right in there safely. And this here is one of the options to mount the light to your weapon system. This here you can see you can unscrew these Allen screws and slide this over a barrel and just mount it directly to a barrel. Or you can take these off from one another and once you take that off, you'll notice that this will just set right on top of your Picatinny rail. So moving on to the other option for mounting your light to your weapon system is this bracket right here. What you would do is just unscrew this. Take your light. Set it right in there. Snug that down while you have it over the top of your barrel on your rifle or whatever you're shooting. And your barrel will go right there. Quick and simple. The quality of construction on this is just very, very well done. You can just tell whenever you pick it up, it's solid. There's nothing that rattles around whenever you shake it. And all you do to zoom in and out is simply twist the end of the light. And I'll show you at night here, but you would just simply move this in and out. And that's going to control your focus of the beam on your light. And then to get in and change your modules, you would just unscrew. Right there. The modules do have little knurlings here. So you just grab that, twist it, and then take whatever one you're going to put in and replace it. And then to take out the 18650 batteries, unscrew this out all the way. And just unscrew the tail cap. And right there you have your one 3000 milliamp 18650. And this here is where you would just take, if you're going to put this on your weapon system, you would just take this tail cap, screw it on there directly, and then put this on your forearm, your stock, or wherever's convenient for a finger. And the last thing is the charger for the 18650s. 
Both of them can set in there at once. Gives your positive and your negative sign. And then it has charging indicators right here to let you know when they're fully charged. This is a great plus two. Came with four different O-rings, replacement O-rings. Can't ever have too many of these. And check this out. I was very surprised by this. See if this will pick up on the camera. So the product warranty is a 30 day free replacement, 24 month free repair, very impressive, along with a limited lifetime warranty. Very impressed to see this in the case. Some of the features of the KL52 Plus are the high intensity LEDs with 50,000 hour lifespans, rapid LED module change without tools to fit your particular request, two tubes designed with covered threads to avoid dirt and debris to get into. The unit is made from precision machined high grade 6061 aircraft aluminum. The white LED module has a 1.6 hour runtime with a beam distance of 400 yards. The red has a 3.3 hour runtime with a distance of 375 yards. The green has a 4.1 hour runtime with a distance of 452 yards and the infrared has a two hour run time. So now what I plan to do is just take you upstairs, go out to the back porch and show you um, a visible timber line that I'm gonna be shining at tonight so we can see how well the intensity works on the KL52 Plus. So what I wanna do there is just show you in daylight kind of what the yardage ranges are. That way you get an idea when it's lit up at dark with the flashlight, just how far this thing can reach out. So let's go up there and take a look and I'll give you guys some yardages. In this back timber line with the barn there in the background, that timber line is 295 yards. And at night you'll be able to tell because that white barn right there will have a light on. So you can use that as a reference point, but that line there is 295 yards. The beam of the light will continue to get smaller and smaller as you zoom in, eventually getting down to a square. Right here is on the widest beam. And then I'm gonna zoom it in to that first line of timber that I showed you earlier in daylight. And see there, it's already picking it up. And pick up those trees very easily. I was hoping there'd be some deer out here so I could show you some eyes. But that picks up those trees great. If you look off to the right there in the frame, you'll see the light that is lit up on the side of the barn that I referred to earlier. And now you can see those trees all the way back there. This tree right here, that one's up close. No way I can look around that with my camera right now, but all the way back there, you can pick up those trees right next to and right in front of that barn. So that's all the way at 295 right there. Plus, just, this is just on my camera, and it picks up a lot better to the naked eye. So, sorry, I'm starting to shiver a little bit. Pretty chilly out here. But that shows you right there's the trees. 295 yards. We'll zoom it. And we'll just bring it back in all the way to the wide zoom. Look at that coverage. Pretty impressive. So in conclusion, the KL52 Plus from Ode Pro performed really well for the price point that it's at. One feature that I do like on weapon lights that's not on the Ode Pro KL52 Plus is an intensity control on the tail cap, but you can't expect to get intensity control at this price point. This, I would not consider this a budget light, and I would not consider this a high-end light. 
This is right in the midpoint between those two. Uh, so I don't expect intensity control, but it does have a very nice case with it. Uh, the quality of construction is superb. I mean, it's probably better than one of the lights that I use that does have intensity control. The other light that I'm referring to when I shake it, it has a little bit of a rattle up front and overall it's a little bit bigger, but uh, this is a great size, just very good construction, very good quality. And as you can see outside, the light performs really well. Uh, it does use the 18650 batteries, which I'm a big fan of. Get great performance out of those, and they're not too overly expensive. So overall, I want to thank Odepro for sending this to me, letting me do a review on my channel. I told them I would give them an honest review, and for the price point on this, I don't think you can go wrong. So go take a look at Odepro stuff. Good quality flashlight. I'm going to put a link down below. Just go there, click that link, take you directly to the flashlight and you can purchase it there. As always, thanks for following along. Happy hunting. Be safe. See you guys.